Hello. In this video, we'll be exploring the editing commands in the Modify panel of InfraWizard, which you can use to modify the geometry and connectivity of your pipe networks. The first command is Split Pipe. This command will simply split a pipe into two pipes. After clicking the command button, I should select the pipe, then pick the position of the split point. You must use Object Snap with the feature nearest while picking the split point to ensure it's precisely located on the pipe alignment. If we check the profile of this line, you'll find it marked Needs Update. So I'll double click here to update it. Now you can see the new node added here. Notice that the ground level and invert level at the new node were calculated by interpolating the levels of the start and end nodes of the original pipe. That's why the pipe slope was not changed. There is a similar command here called Split All. You can use this command with pipes containing vertices because it splits a pipe at every vertex it has. And this turns the vertices into new nodes. You can apply this command to multiple pipes in an operation as well. The command Merge Pipes makes the inverse operation of the split command. It converts several pipes into a single pipe while converting every node into a vertex. Let's try it on these pipes and see how it will appear on the profile. They're now merged, and the profile is marked Needs Update. Updating the profile, you'll find it became a single pipe connecting the first and last manholes in the route I selected. The invert levels at the first and last manholes are maintained, and all intermediate manholes were removed. Thus, we have one pipe with a single slope. One thing to bear in mind is that the pipes to be merged must be of the same material and size and cannot have a lateral connection because the lateral pipe would lose its node if these pipes were merged. Let me undo this to use this line in the next example. The command unify slope is one of my favorites. It changes the pipe invert levels of a pipeline at the intermediate nodes to make it have a single slope from start to end. For example, we have a sewer line of four pipes containing three different slopes. I'll click Unify Slope and select all of the pipes. Press Enter, then update the profile. Now the whole line has one uniform slope from start to end. What InfraWizard does is that it keeps the invert levels at the start and end of the line unchanged, then recalculates the invert levels at all intermediate nodes to satisfy the uniform slope from start to end. You can do this in gravity networks and pressure networks as well. It can be very useful in creating new networks. For example, I can quickly create a series of pipes from these lines. Assign invert levels to start and end nodes only. Then use the Unify Slope command to calculate all intermediate invert levels. Notice that if you have pipes of different diameters in the line, InfraWizard will ask you to choose a matching setting at the nodes to enable calculation of intermediate invert levels. See how the invert levels change every time I select a different matching setting? The command Reverse Pipe switches the assignment of start node and end node of the pipe without changing its invert levels. For example, 
The start node of this pipe is manhole C82, and its end node is manhole C81. If I reverse this pipe, you'll find that manhole C81 became the start node, and C82 became the end node. And the direction arrow was reversed. However, the invert level at either manhole was not changed, and that's why the longitudinal profile of the line was not marked Needs Update. The command reverse pipe is sometimes useful when you import a gravity network and find that direction arrows of some pipes are not following the flow direction. Reversing the pipes in this case can correct them. Then we come to the commands add vertex and remove vertex. They simply let you add and remove vertices within a pipe element. To add a vertex, I only need to select the pipe and pick a point at the position of the new vertex. It can be on the pipe or close to it. If you want to add several vertices, you need to repeat the command. To remove a vertex, I should select the pipe, then pick the vertex to be removed using Object Snap with End Point feature. The picked vertex is directly removed, so the pipe alignment is now straight. Finally, we have the command Update Ground. We learned about it in Part 10 of this tutorial while working on the Manage Networks panel. This command will only be available if you're using InfraWizard with Autodesk Civil 3D. If you're using Civil 3D, you'll be able to assign a primary surface and a secondary surface to your network so you can use them to pick the ground levels of the nodes and to plot the ground line on longitudinal profiles. I usually assign the finished ground surface as a primary surface and the existing ground surface as a secondary surface. As soon as you assign surfaces to a network, InfraWizard automatically picks the ground level at each node from these surfaces and stores it in the node properties. Now, if I open any node, you'll see that there are three options for the ground level source. The first one is a set value which was imported with the network or entered manually. The second and third options are values picked from the primary and secondary surfaces we assigned. I'll choose the primary surface here, for example, to tell InfraWizard that the ground level of this node should always refer to the primary surface of the network. If I move this node now, you'll notice that the ground level of it is updated with the surface level at the new position. The only case you need to use the command update ground is when you make an edit to the definition of the surface itself, because such edits cannot be detected by InfraWizard. For example, if I raise this surface by 1 meter, you'll notice that the ground levels are not automatically modified. Click Update Ground. Now it's all right. This concludes our session about the smart editing commands of InfraWizard. In the next couple of sessions, we'll thoroughly explore the properties of pipes and nodes and learn about editing them. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.